Right everyone, it's about September the 22nd and I've arrived at Stetchworth. This is where there's lots of Briggses and there's other related names here. There was even a Stutfield here once. And um, I never not come here. I've, this, I've got lots of pictures of Zara and Brandy here. The last time I came here, they were churning up the graveyard and the church. And you couldn't actually... You couldn't actually... Um, I'm going to come over here in a minute. I might come over here any, in a minute, might not. I've done it so many times. But here's a graveyard and there are related names in here. I will probably have a quick look round. But I'm not doing the graves in detail like I've done in the past because I've already recorded them all. <sighs> there's a stud farm up there. All, a lot of land all around here was owned by my ancestors one way or another. And I've tidied up a lot of the graves once, so that's a new feature, I see. That little circle there. So maybe they have been knocking down some graves now. And all the Briggses are over there, and they were digging right under, and they must have dug graves up. Now, I was somewhere, I've got a video, or pictures and audio, of this church before it was done up inside. I've got the oldie worldy one. See, there's an Eaton there, look. Esquire, Herbert Fitzroy Eaton. <sighs> many years bailiff, Isaac Bailey, many years bailiff to Herbert Fitzroy Eaton. <sighs> By whom he was much respected, esteemed and re regretted. Died July the 18th, 1873, age 59, and his wife Hannah. <sighs> I just do the odd one. The odd one or two, because there's some browns here. We've got browns in the family, you see. And there was a very good poem on one of these. Um, as if to say, look, where I am now, you will once be. You will one, one time, you will, one, you will be. Yeah, all this was dug up and there was huge piles of dirt and debris. And they dug down and you could see all the pews had been lifted. And um, see, here's a John Onion here. We've got most of these graveyards around here we will have relatives in. They were small communities and people married into each other. Um, I'm not saying this church will be open. A lot are not, on, are not open anymore. But I've been in this. Oh, it is open. I've been in this. Oh, look at that. When it was, before it was done up properly. That's really good, isn't it? I better shut the door in case a bird gets in. Look at that. That's good. Because I've never videoed this. I've only um, done audio and pictures. So maybe they've relayed it all, they've painted it, obviously. It was three years ago I was here. And we've probably got people that are baptised in this font. Hopefully there'll be a leaflet. But all this was dug up. Everything was lifted out. But it was very oldie worldy That's what I remember about it. It was very, very old. You still feel the oldie worldiness, but it's had some extensive repairs done to the floor by the look of it. It was amazing how they'd done it at all. All these huge Bibles, look. The parish of Stretchworth. There's a really old Bible, isn't it, that? Do you know what I mean? That is really old. 1829, that one. 
stretch for 1854. God, imagine all the people, that's leather or lamb or something. I've never, I don't know if this was open before. God, it's great to be able to get in. I'm just walking around willy nilly just in case anybody comes in. Yeah, look at this, look at those beams up there. Look, I think the roof's all been redone, it looks like it, doesn't it? It's all nice and clean and shiny. But those beams there, well, some of the middle ones look very old indeed. Of course, the stained glass windows would still have been here. St. Peter's of Stetchworth. I was calling it Stretchworth for years. It's actually Stetchworth. Zara will enjoy this video because she's never been in. <sighs> There's that name, Eaton, again. Reverend Charles Eaton and Charlotte something Eaton, also of Henry Pardue Eaton, captain of the Royal Rifles, died January the 28th, 1807, aged 32, at Delhi. Also Catherine Matilda Finzel and Catherine Harriet Eaton. She died at age 83. Charles Pemberton Eaton, formerly vicar of Stetchworth, died 11th of May, 1990. We have got reverends in the family, the Isaacsons. The Reverend Stephen Isaacson was a reverend. I'm doing the video first, and I usually tend to seem like I rush them, but... What it is, um, I can't video when people come in. You have to do it and you can't talk. Like this morning, I was in St. Mary's when my great-grandparents got married moons ago and um, I hardly uttered a word. Some people might think that's good for me to be quiet for a change. I don't know. I might try it again. There's another book there, look. This one's been cleaned up. Stetchworth Parish, 1854. Isn't that nice? That one's been restored by the look of it. And we would have people, I can't tell you off the top of my head who they are because I can't remember everything now. The tree is massive. But it's Briggs is mainly stick in my mind. Briggs is of here, of Dullingham. Like I said, there was a Stutville. Look at this great big pulpit, look. It's a really big pulpit, that, isn't it? I'm just going to turn off again for a moment and then set it up again. Because the computer sometimes turns itself off and it loses what I've done. Right, I'm back on again. I can join them back up, see? Yeah, all these walls have been done. But like I say, they dug under the church. Right, back to where the pulpit. Great big pulpit. Massive, isn't it? They must... Why they've got it so big? They're usually very tight. I'm sure there was more of a military feeling in here. Um, when I came last time. It still feels oldie worldy. I mean, obviously it's had the foundation sorted out. It's had the foundation. I'm sure there was more stuff on the walls. It just seemed a lot more cluttery. Um, Richard Lord Gorge was son of Edward Lord Gorge, Baron of Dundalk above and grandson of the S. Thomas Gorge Knight, who lieth buried with Lady M something or other of Northampton, his wife in the Cathedral Church of Salisbury, and was a fifth son of that ancient family of the Gorge of Roxall in the county of Somerset. Oh, right. I have to look them up then. I think I have come across their name down there. 
This Richard Lord Gorge from 1656 for above 20 years managed the affairs of that honourable corporation for the training of the great level of the fens called Bedford Level as superintendent and surveyor general. Ah, yeah, I remember this great big monument that has remained. It's just so, it just seems very bare now. I, I'm sure there was more in it. I'm, I'm, I must I must try and find the, that tape that I did. He drooped and died in manhood's early dawn, approaching death, subdued with solemn sadness all the pride of youthful strength, and so he bowed his head and sank to rise again. This monument erected in love and hope by his sorrowing sister, Emily Piggott. Ashton Benyon, born September the 27th, 1836, died May the 22nd, 1856. He was only 20 then. Maybe he was in the army. But, um, like I said, I am sure there was more stuff about. Looks like the remains of an old gorgle, doesn't it? Hmm, these curtains look familiar. I wonder if they've had them cleaned. Right, we're going to walk up through now because I don't think I actually walked up. I went round the sides. I think there was a lot that happened in this church during either Cromwell's time. I think there's a lot, a lot went on here. What I can remember. Right, I'm going to take some photos. <laughs> 